Hi, Samsung friends. I joined a 10 session kayaking course by KIAK. It stands for Kid in a Kayak. If this is your first time watching my videos, I am Avril Tra, founder of Sunswim's YouTube channel and Facebook page. If you haven't already, click subscribe and the bell button. Be sure to do so, so that you won't miss any new videos. The course is one session per week and at the Kalam Water Sports Centre. In order to join the course, you need to be able to swim 200 meters without any help. Your height must be at least 1.25 meters and you must be at least 10 years old. You must be strong enough to carry the canoe with another person and you must communicate with the other person. On my first lesson, it rained heavily but the class carried on. You must be prepared that you might have to canoe in the rain. Bring an extra set of clothes. This wooden platform is called the pontoon. This is where they launch the kayaks. You must wear a life jacket and footwear when you step on the pontoon so that you don't get splinters. For the first two lessons, we were taught to paddle using our hands in the canoe and how to turn left and right. After the first two lessons, we were introduced to the paddles which pull more water and make us go faster. Coach told us to turn around and face him so I was trying to turn right so that I can turn around. If you want to turn to the right, Push water backwards on your left side. It's the opposite for turning to the left. Oops! This guy capsized. Beginners tend to capsize like this guy. After some time, I started to get the hang of it and paddled faster. There are two ramps that lead to the pontoon. One is only for the canoes to be transported down and one is only for the canoes to be transported up. People who are not carrying the kayaks can walk up and down any ramp they want. Some canoes can accommodate two people at the same time. They are called JK tools. The person at the front is the one who controls the rudder. The rudder helps determine which direction the kayak goes in. We enjoy working in pairs because we have someone to talk to. As we got more experience, we kayaked to Nicole Highway and back. Did you know that each pedal costs $500? That means I am carrying $1,500. We also kayaked to the Tanjong Wu Suspension Bridge. I'm now very confident to kayak by myself.
At the last part of the course, everyone had to go through a time trial to see if they could get promoted to the upsized program. They have to kayak 2 kilometers in 16 minutes or less. We even saw the national kayaking team. Overall, the course was very fun for me. I hope you liked this video. Leave me a thumbs up. Stay sunny. Bye.